January is like a little, a little test star. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Oh my gosh, 2024, I'm gonna do this. We're all gonna do this. <laughs> we can do it, guys. I feel like I know what I'm doing a tad bit more <laughs> compared to 2023. 2023, I was just like, F it. <laughs> My work became a lot more depressing and I'm just like, why am I here? <laughs> Is anyone gonna give me holiday money? <laughs> Is anyone gonna give me holiday money? <laughs> if you go back to the story time days, I feel like I was pretty funny. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. Literally you guys are just going to be catching up with me, seeing what's going on, what happened in 2023, what's going on in 2024, you know, all of that stuff. Like, I haven't done a chit chat, get ready with me in such a long time, it's actually been a minute. I actually like doing these videos because it's so, they are so therapeutic to me. I... I love sitting down doing my makeup, taking a while to do my makeup, I was talking to you guys, giving you guys the goss and whatever and all that stuff ever done. I just love doing these videos, I feel so chilled, I feel so relaxed, I feel like I'm on the FaceTime call like talking to my friends or whatever, like, <laughs> you already know. <laughs> but now on a real note, I actually really like doing these videos, I feel so like chill and it's like, I'm talking, I'm letting, not everything out, but I'm letting like most of how I feel out, which feels really good. So yeah guys, let's literally get started with the video, but before I start, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it, and yeah, let's get started. Those were definitely the two highlights of 2023 for me, just going on holiday, enjoying life and all that stuff. Those are my two highlights of 2023, loved, loved going on holidays, and yeah, it was a lit time. But, I'll probably say the only thing that I didn't like about 2023 is that I was working at a job that I just just didn't like the job, like, at all. Obviously, you know, when you work and you just you do what you got to do, but I just wasn't enjoying it. Like, you know, at first it was alright, and I can't even lie, the people that I met at the workplace, obviously, they're even people... There's even people that I still speak to now that I used to, you know, used to work the same workplace. But the pay, you know what? The pay wasn't even bad. It was the amount of hours I was getting was just absolutely horrendous. Like, let me not even tell you how many hours I was working at that workplace. But yeah, like in the beginning, it wasn't even that bad. But then later on, it just wasn't doing it for me actually to the point where I was cool with a lot of people at the workplace that work just wasn't becoming nice anymore and I was just thinking like I'm literally just here to get I was just there to do what I had to do and they were just making it a bit more difficult for me like and then yeah work just became a bit more depressing <laughs> yeah, work became a lot more depressing and I'm just like why am I here <laughs> <laughs> where I was working kind of set me back because obviously I didn't enjoy it and all that stuff but now I'm in a situation where I feel like I'm on the right track for my life like I know what I want to do I'm gonna go and do it and obviously I will tell you guys when everything falls into place but I don't want to tell you guys everything because you know I don't have to tell you guys everything <laughs> but yeah I just feel like I'm in the right place I feel like I'm a lot happier I feel like I'm enjoying life a bit more and yeah i felt like that job set me back when it came to enjoying my life a bit more i felt like i wasn't really enjoying my life <laughs> like it sounds so sad but especially like during the weekends like no listen i don't even mind i could work monday to friday straight and that'll be absolutely fine with me but weekends baby <laughs> when it came to my workplace it just set me back a bit but you know what i met some great people who i'm literally still friends with now so yeah that's how i feel about that situation i'm telling myself like 2024 i'm literally trying to progress don't downplay yourself i don't know if i'm using the right term but like don't settle for less if you really want to do something then literally just go for it don't listen to anyone else's opinion and literally just go for it and that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell myself this year, like, don't set yourself back, 
don't settle for like you no know, for example i could just easily do any job that gets me money but no like i'm not settling for less anymore i want to settle for more i want to do more i want to progress and do better no more holding myself back in 2024 i'm literally gonna go for what i want i'm learning how to say no to people a lot more which is something i actually struggled with before like i don't want to say that i'm a people pleaser but sometimes i feel bad when i say no to people but at the end of the day like at the end of the day like it's my life and i can do what i want if i want to say no i'm gonna say no <laughs> so something that i'm learning 2024 i'm literally just trying to look after my health a lot more because a bit too much i feel a bit too much yeah so 2024 i definitely just want to eat more healthy like i know people are like oh i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna eat more healthy blah 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 blah, blah. and then you'll see them in the gym the beginning of january that's when it's like that's like the peak month everyone's in the gym oh my gosh 2024 i'm gonna do this we're all gonna do this <laughs> we can do it guys <laughs> we can all do this together <laughs> we got this guys <laughs> no don't cry angel don't cry don't cry angel your makeup um but <laughs> why am i laughing so much it's not even that funny um but now, nah, like, you know that people are like, oh my gosh, yeah, we can do this, guys, 2024, gonna have a nice body, blah, blah, blah. But now, nah, like, honestly, it's true, like, I'm 25, and I want to, I want to be more healthy, I want to look after my body, I want to, you know, I just want to look after my health a lot more, because I feel like it's very important. I feel like it's very important. I feel like, if I'm not looking after my health now, then later on it's going to catch up to me. I know I shouldn't be thinking that, but it's the truth. Like, I can't be eating junk food and snacks forever. And you know what's crazy? I can actually eat healthy. I like healthy food. I like... I like a salad. I like tomato. I like cucumber. I like lettuce. I like sweet corn. What else? I like mushrooms. I like avocado. I like a lot of healthy stuff. That's not even the problem I have. The problem I have is that I like snacks. I like snacks so much. Like, guys, I can just snack whenever. Like, I don't think you understand. But yeah, guys, I can snack. Like, I will literally, sna literally snack upon anything. And I don't even do it on purpose. Like, I don't know what it is about snacks. Like, I just like biscuits and I like freaking... What else? I love juice. And... What else? What else? What else? I love chocolate. Well, actually, I don't love chocolate. I like chocolate. Um, but yeah, I just love snacks. Oh my gosh, ice cream. I think ice cream is probably the worst. And juice. Ice cream and juice. Yeah, that's what I struggle with the most. And I can't help it. Yeah, guys, I only struggle with snacks. But literally, I have been going to the gym literally since November. And I'm so proud of myself. I've literally been consistent in the gym. Okay, I can't even lie. This week, I have not. But I have been doing well in the gym and I am proud of myself. I literally need to tap myself on the back because going to the gym consistently is not freaking easy. So yeah, I've been doing well on eating healthy. I want to, you know, like care about myself more than other people. Like I know that sounds selfish, but that's how I feel, you know, to just progress in my own life and you know just focus on myself a lot more because i can't even lie don't get me wrong like i love to go out enjoy life and etc etc but i i really want to focus on myself i want to focus on myself and i want to focus on content creating i can't even lie i've been doing really good on instagram lately and i have literally been posting constantly on instagram and I'm literally trying to put myself more out there. I'm literally trying to talk to more people, more creatives and all that stuff. Because literally, like, it's been, it's been decent. <laughs> it's actually been proper decent. Like, just getting to know new people. Because I feel like I struggle when it comes to talking to new people. So that is definitely something in 2024 that I've been wanting to progress. Is literally just talking to new people and just, you know, just say why not and see where it goes. 
but yeah like literally i i love my pictures on instagram i can't even lie they have been super super a1 that like, i actually love them i'm sorry but if you see my instagram from literally before i've been taking pictures for time and i am so proud of myself i literally just want to keep on progressing and yeah literally just seeing where it goes but i love my pictures on instagram right now i feel like i'm becoming that girl like i'm becoming the it girl no i'm joking i'm, <laughs> I'm becoming the it girl <laughs> now nah, let me actually relax um <laughs> um but i just feel like i'm becoming more confident when it comes to my pictures because i can't even lie sometimes i look at my outfits and i'm like oh like what is that like why did i even wear that like that's not even something i would wear angel what are you doing you actually look like a freaking weirdo mate like what are you actually doing <laughs> like what are you actually doing like sis come on now like what are you actually doing like i don't know i just felt like talking so this is the most i've talked in my entire life um instagram i felt like i was just looking at what other people would wear and i would just wear it but then i would question it thinking do i actually like this outfit would this be something i'd actually wear and i look back and i'm just like oh like why i wear that like that's not even me i don't even like what are you doing so yeah i'm learning my style i'm learning my fashion sense and my fashion style and all that stuff and it just makes me so happy that i feel like i can i can actually look at my picture I can look at my pictures and be like yes i like this a lot so i don't talk this much in real life <laughs> like i'm quite in the corner right? <laughs> no joke but um yeah 2024 literally i just want to get out there more enjoy life more but obviously keep a good balance of focusing on myself as well and yeah just not being afraid to do stuff anymore yeah just be a better person better me etc etc literally like that is literally the vibe that i'm on right now and yeah i'm literally just gonna see where it goes from there guys i really should have made this video in january don't even ask why like i've tried to film so many times on <laughs> on this chit chat like i've done like almost three videos and I was just like, uh, I don't like it, or uh, am I still gonna be on YouTube? Because I can't even lie to you guys, I love me some YouTube. <laughs> Why is that so that sounds so weird? <laughs> I love me some YouTube now, nah, but for <laughs> I'm actually such an idiot. Um nah, but I actually love YouTube. Like, here is where I can be my most creative self. Well, obviously I just felt like I was making videos making videos making videos and I feel like no one's watching them so then I'm like why am I here <laughs> do you guys even like me like should I still be here like I was talking about YouTube and whether I was actually going to stay on this app or not honestly guys there's been many times I'm just like should I just should I just throw in the towel <laughs> should I just give up and call it a day because you know imagine hours and hours editing doing this doing that da, 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 and then you barely get views for it and it's just like excuse me i am such a creative person i put in blood sweat and <laughs> and tears like i'm not even trying to joke but it's true another accomplishment when two videos that i made so one you know when i first you know my first time in nigeria and that got like 5k views and obviously that's the most views i've ever had on my channel and it was such a huge accomplishment for me and also the other video of my haul my holiday haul it got 5k views as well and guys that is the most views i've ever had and it was such a big a big big thing for me and it was such a big thing for me i can't even lie to you biggest achievement ever and i was so happy i was so so happy but it's just to the thing where i'll go from 5k to what 100 years again and it's just annoying it's heartbreaking it's annoying and it's jarring it was just so jarring like it just made me sad down and 
like listen if i could do holiday videos all the time i would freaking do it but <laughs> is anyone <laughs> is anyone gonna give me holiday money <laughs> is anyone gonna give me holiday money <laughs> but is anyone actually gonna give me holiday money because excuse me like money don't grow on trees like hello um yeah like i would be doing those videos but like i said does anyone have holiday money do i have holiday money no so um yeah it's literally one of them ones but yeah even like even when it came to the holiday haul i felt like people only like people only click on it because i was wearing a bikini and listen i love my body i love myself etc etc but for people to only but for people to only click on the video just because I'm wearing a bikini is crazy and that's not what I want to do that's not what I want people to subscribe me to because of that I want people to subscribe to me I want people to subscribe to me because of my my creativity my vlogging for my vlogs for my outfits for my creativity that's why I would want you guys to subscribe to me and yeah because of my personality i feel like i'm a funny person if you go back to the story time days i feel like i was pretty funny <laughs> i mean you can agree to disagree but, but now on a real note i actually feel like i have like a banging personality especially like once you get to know me obviously like if you meet me in real life i can be a bit shy but once you actually get to know me i actually think i have a banging personality that's not even me being cocky that's just me being real so love chit chats because i just feel like i can just talk and just be stupid and not care <laughs> and just be myself relationship with god yes my relationship with god has been really good compared to last year and the year before my relationship with god was a bit shaky but obviously towards the end of 2023 my relationship with god has been really really good obviously i feel like there's still a lot of there's still a lot of things for me to learn there's still a lot of things for me to learn and all that stuff so yeah but I can't even lie, if it wasn't for my brothers, I actually, I don't know if I'd be this close with God. So I appreciate for them to actually, you know, help me with my relationship with God and help me to go to church and all that stuff. I feel like when it comes to going to church, I do feel a lot happier. I feel a lot, I feel a lot more at peace. So yeah, there's that. Um, three, three, four, I just need to, I need to do better when it comes to sleep and yeah that's pretty much it i mean i don't say yeah i just need to learn how to sleep better and bye <laughs> it literally sounds like that but nah um i feel like lately i have been progressing so well like literally going to the gym eating healthy yeah sometimes i'll have a snack here and there but it's actually not that bad but yeah i feel like i'm still in progress and i'm literally at a point where I feel like I'm on a path where I know what I want to do for my career as well. Obviously, YouTube is going to be my career. Obviously, social media is going to be my career, but I'm, I'm talking about something else as well that will bring money. And yeah, I feel like I finally know what I want to do. What happened in 2023 is that I lost a friend who I was pretty much close with. And whoever says a friendship breakup is just as bad as a relationship breakup you are totally great <laughs> honestly friendship breakup is the worst thing to actually go through like because imagine having memories with that person and you know they've been in your life for a very long period of time like if it wasn't for a long period of time then it's like okay whatever but but yeah it's not a good time like i don't know I don't really know what to say, like basically, I'm not gonna say the whole story. But let's just say we had a little we had a little agreement, disagreement, and I sort of dealt with how I felt in not the best way. <laughs> um I could have dealt with it a lot better, I can't even lie to you. I put my hands off for that one. I'm not gonna be like, oh it's all her fault. Da, 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 da. Nah, that's not really me. I keep it real. I felt like at the time, at the time when it happened, I wasn't really sure how to deal with it, but I didn't deal with it in the best way. So one thing led to another and yeah, that was, it just ended up being the end of, 
it just ended up being the end of the friendship basically and it's more like i wish you the best and you know if god wanted us to be friends we would be friends and if it's not then i guess it was not meant to be and it's unfortunate because obviously like i said when you share memories with someone and they've been in your life for a long period of time you didn't exactly imagine them not being in your life you didn't exactly imagine them not being in your life whatsoever so obviously it's not a nice feeling so yeah it hurt i was thinking oh my gosh like this is actually happening this person's not gonna be in my life anymore i mean i don't want to say in general ever again because you never know but you know yeah <laughs> like you never know like it could be it could not be i'll actually never know and we'll never know so yeah that is literally it about that like I said, it is unfortunate, it's sad. Um, it makes me sad, but you know, at the same time I can't I can't keep thinking about it and you just have to sort of move on from it. So yeah, that's how I feel about that situation. And I felt like it was better to say nothing than something because you know, obviously when you're upset and angry you're gonna wanna say whatever, no hesitation, but I've learned that I've learned that if you're upset or angry in a situation, like, give yourself time. This is my opinion. I feel like if you're upset or angry in a situation, give yourself time to either think about what you're going to say or don't say anything at all. But yeah, guys, that's what I went through in 2023. It was a lot. Losing a friend, you know, having a job that I didn't necessarily like, but I gained 5k views on two videos i went on two holidays yeah like it was literally a 50 50 situation but 2024 at the moment has been so good i feel like january was definitely a test run like for real like january is like a little a little tester <laughs> a little tester do you get what i'm saying like you never know what's gonna happen in Jan, but I feel like February is like, okay, now I'm in 2024. Even February is almost done. Like, we're literally in mid-Feb. I can't even believe it. But, yeah, like, at the moment, 2024 has been really good. I feel like more chill, more relaxed. Um, I'm literally, like, I just feel like I know what I'm doing a tad bit more <laughs> compared to 2023. 2023, I was just like, F it. <laughs> You know, just chuck yourself in there like F it. Like, but 2024, I just feel like it's a lot more structured. Like, you know, when people structure your life in 2023 and then go into 2024 and then you're like, oh, like whatever. But at the moment, I feel like my life has been pretty much structured, which is really good. So I am very happy where 2024 is going. Continue more happiness and more, you know, progression in 2024 and all that good stuff. And yeah but yeah guys i've literally done my makeup now so i am going to end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed my chit chat get rid of me make sure you subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff you already know the vibes and yeah i'll talk to you guys later